you think that if a person says that their pain is very intense, it's because they have a more severe injury than someone that says that their pain is very low, not so intense. We ask patients to give numbers to pain. We say zero is no pain at all, 10 is the most intense pain that you can imagine. Give me a number from zero to 10 and then people say, oh, my pain right now is eight or my pain is right now is six or two or one. So do you think that if they give you a low number it's because their injury, their lesion, the disease is less severe than someone that comes and they say, oh, my pain is 10 out of 10, nine out of 10, I can't bear it. What do you think? True or false? True, that this is true, the more intense the number, the more serious the injury. And false is that this number is very arbitrary and depends on other things, not just based on the lesion. The answer is false. The number that the person gives to their pain has very little to do with the injury, the lesion itself. The number that the person gives to their pain has much more to do with their fear of that pain, the, how much control they have over their pain, the uncertainties about what's going on with their pain, uncertainty about the diagnosis, uncertainty about what's going to happen to me, uncertainty about uh, who knows how to treat this, uncertainty about how long this is going to last. So it has also the intensity of pain that the person gives has more to do with the suffering their worries and also with the context, what's happening around them, their previous experiences with this pain, who is with them. We know that if they have company, if they can hold the hands of someone that they love, their numbers also go down. So the number, it's usually not a very good thermometer for the amount of injury that is happening in the body.